and welcome. Thank you for joining. Today we're going to see how we can assign record type IDs using a process builder and flow and without having to hard code the record type IDs. So if you have been using process builder for a while, you know that um, process builder doesn't let you assign the record type ID, uh, doesn't let you assign the record type IDs uh, or doesn't let you refer to the record type names in, inside the process builder. And what this leads to is when you deploy from production sandbox to production, you actually have to go in the process builder and update the record type IDs manually to match the production record type IDs. So we're going to solve that by using a flow. So um, following up the same example from the last video, what we're trying to do is um, anytime a milestone record is created and we want to set the record type of the milestone based on the name. So if the milestone name is perform background, um, I want to set the record type ID, record type to background check. If it is follow up, then I want to set it to follow up. Uh, record type. So to do that, um, you can you can easily use a process builder and just hard code those values for each different node. So in a process builder, um, what you can do is when a name is follow up, then you can just add an action and update that field um, with the record type ID and hard code that value. But we are uh, getting away from using that, and so let's use the flow here. So here. First of all, you need to query the record type object. So get records and so get record type. So the approach here is uh, we're going to pass the API name of record type and the S object variable name and then that will give us the record type ID and that's what we're going to assign to our um, milestone records and which which is which can be passed from the flow. So here record type if you start typing record type you'd see a record type object and obviously you want to filter it so you want to filter record type records based on these criteria so first of all we want to say s object equals milestone and obviously you want to specify which record type so record type name which is the developer name equals and this value you can pass it from the flow uh, sorry from the process builder and the reason it is okay to pass a record type developer name is because the developer name doesn't change, so uh, record type dev name. Developer name uh, remains the same regardless of which org you are in. So it's okay to uh, hard code the developer API name. So text and available for input because this will be passed from process builder. Just gonna make a note here and hit done. So and then assign it here because it's not smart enough to do that. So developer name equals this. So these are the conditions and only the first record because you only have, you only get one record uh, based on these conditions. And it is okay to store in a separate variable because all we care about is the record type ID because that's what we can assign in process builder and flows, both of them. So let's store that in a new variable where record type ID and data type is text about for output because we are storing that locally we don't need to pass it out from anywhere so again pick that value here so basically this is this is equivalent to saying select record type id where uh, developer name equals this and s object name equals this and we're storing that in where record type id hit done let's connect these two and next we want to just update those records so update record update milestone record type IDs um, and here obviously you don't want to update all the milestones and so you're gonna say milestone Sorry, actually, um, in our case, we don't have. Um, so usually, I prefer to use uh, use the IDs and all field values from record variable or record collection variable. What this means is sometimes you have situation where you want to store uh, all the collected variable inside the flow, and then we make that update at once. Um, and I have plenty of videos on this one. But in in our particular case, we just want to pass that ID record ID from the process builder and then update it. So it's okay to use specify conditions to identify records and then set fields individually. That's what we're going to do here. So we can directly refer to milestone object. And obviously you don't want to update all the milestones. So 
conditions are met. So what conditions, uh, which, which records do you want to update? So obviously you want to update that ID equals and this value can come from the process builder. So that's what we're going to do. New resource and let's say variable var milestone record ID pass from process builder. And this is also text type because um, text and ID are same in, process, uh, in flow and available for input definitely. Click done. And click it here ID equals where milestone rec ID and set field values for milestone records. So what do you want to set? Record type ID equals. Um, whatever the record type we stored in previous step. So file record type ID. Okay, hit done. And that is all that our flow needs to do. So set milestone record IDs. And it's an auto launch flow. Save it. And I already have an activated version, so I'm not going to activate this one. But if you go back, Activation is a um, little tricky in the new, new flow, pro, flow builder. You'll have to go back and go to the list of flows and then click on that and hit activate here. Mine is already activated. So uh, that's first step. What Step two is we actually need to um, call that from the process builder. So here I already have one step noted down. So when the name is follow up, I'm saying set follow up past that values, right? So let's see. When name is let's go back well. When name is um, background perform background check from background. When name is that the condition is name master name equals and you can also refer um, to the custom metadata here instead of hard coding these names. Anyway, so, so when this is equal to name that, um, save it, and the action will be calling the flow, set follow up background check record type, and auto launched, this is the flow, and here we pass those values that we set. So we need milestone record type ID, obviously, because we want to make sure we query the right milestones. So record type, record ID. So where milestone record ID is that, and we also need to pass the developer name. It is going to be a string, and let's uh, see. We need to find the API name for that record type. So go to milestone, and it has to be an API name because that's what the flow is expecting. Um, record type and background check Let's copy that and go there so hit save and basically now anytime a milestone gets created it automatically does uh, assign those values for you so let's take, let's take a quick test um, I'm going to find an opportunity because uh, opportunity is triggering creating the milestone. So I'm just going to take a random opportunity, set the stage to prospecting and hit save. This should create a milestone. First of all, we have a follow up with customer and follow up with customer should have a follow up with customer record type. So it looks like that worked. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions uh, or concerns. Um, thank you so much for watching.